All right, hello everyone. Um, I've been getting a few questions about this problem. It's from homework 38, question five. And I think part of the misunderstanding is just in the details of the problem. So first up, uh, 30 tulips are planted around the base of a circular fountain. If the fountain is 16 feet in diameter and the tulips are placed one foot away from the base, what is the length of the arc between the consecutive tulips? Okay, so let's draw our fountain, our circular fountain like this. Here is the center of it. Okay, let me draw in a diameter. So the diameter right here is 16 feet total. Let me draw that in here, 16 feet total, which means that a radius here is 8 and a radius here is 8. Okay, so then we're told that we have 30 tulips that are planted around the base. So we have, let me make a beautiful tulip like that. Okay, here's all of those lovely tulips like that that are wrapping around it. And then I'll just draw in that circle. Okay, so here we know that that's an extra one foot here, one foot. Okay, so again, let me just backtrack. 30 tulips are planted around the base of a circular fountain. If the fountain is 16 feet in diameter, so here's the fountain itself, the 16 feet in diameter, and the tulips are placed one foot away from the base, so an extra one foot out like that, what is the length of the arc between the consecutive tulips? So what I'm seeing is really two things that you could be solving for. Are you solving for this arc right here? I could see that as an interpretation. Are you solving for that arc right there between the consecutive tulips? Or are you solving for this arc right here between the consecutive tulips? So I think that's what the miscommunication is in this problem. So let's say that we decided that we're solving for this first arc right here, okay? First thing that I'd have to know is, well, uh, what is the degree measure that they are apart? So if I'm told that I have 30 tulip plants, around the base of a circular fountain, and here we're assuming that they're all equidistant, if I divide by 30, so if I take my 360 and I divide it by 30, that gives me 12, 12 degrees. So they're 12 degrees apart. So again, 360 all the way around, I'm just splitting it uh, 30 ways because I have 30 tulip plants, so that gets me 12 degrees. So they're 12 degrees apart. So the measure of the arc here would be 12 degrees, the arc here would also be 12 degrees. But again, I'm solving for this first one right here. Here, let me highlight it. This is what I'm emphasizing first. Okay, so then uh, what is the length of the arc between the consecutive tulips? So here I can say that my length will be the degree measure over 360 times the circumference. So I'm looking at a portion of the total circumference. So here we're going to say that measure is 12 over 360, right? That makes sense because that's 1 30th of the whole circle multiplied by the circumference 2 times pi times my radius of 8. Okay, so then here if I just clean that up, that's like saying 1 30th, I'm just reducing it, times 2 times pi times 8. So times 16 pi, essentially. So if I type that in, 1 divided by 30 uh, times 16 pi, I'm going to get about 1.68, what are my units? Feet. So what did I just solve for? I just solved for this part right here that I have highlighted. This would be if I decided that that's where my tulips are situated, right here at the edge of the fountain, okay? So that's one way that I've seen people approach it. Okay, but the other interpretation, right, is saying, well, why are they telling us tulips are placed one foot away from the base? So it's implying that, well, here's my eight feet, but here's my extra foot out to here. Maybe they're planted right in here. So then my radius would be nine and not eight. So then my problem, it's virtually the same, right? All that I'm changing is the radius. So I'm looking at a 
portion of the total circumference again. My degree measure, like we already established, is 12 degrees out of 360. So again, we know that that's 1 30th of the whole circle. Okay, multiply that by 2 times pi times a radius of 9 instead. So that's assuming that we're going all the way out here to 9. So I'm really looking at, well, what's 1 30th times 18 pi? So 1 30th times 18 pi. And I'm using my pi button. So when I plug in, I would get here about 1.88 feet instead. Okay, so if this was a, a true fountain garden situation, um, where I think the tulips would probably be would probably be somewhere between those two boundary points. So if this was a real world context type of problem, our, our real answer, the tulips, again, probably somewhere in between these two. So our answer really should be somewhere in between these two uh, end values. So somewhere in that spread of values from here to here would be appropriate. Okay, so if you chose to solve it this way, if you chose to solve it this way, no problem. I'm just trying to help you understand where things are situated in the problem itself. All right, I hope that helps clear things up. Have a lovely rest of your day.